Yes, my name is John of Acosta Productions and welcome to the first Tutorial Tuesday where we go into the elements of video production and we break them down so you guys can do them at home and start your own production business. All right. On our first installment, we are actually going to talk about how to synchronize cameras and audio within, uh, within a production. Cameras are absolutely inexpensive these days. You can buy a DSLR, which costs some, some of them cost less than $800, and you can buy flip cams, you can buy uh, those GoPro cameras that all shoot in HD 1080p resolution, which is amazing. And that's never happened before, but technology is so accessible these days, and now we can do this. The problem is that although you can buy all these cameras, how are you gonna synchronize all the footage if you're doing, let's say, a multi-cam presentation? So if we had two cameras rolling right now, how would you synchronize both of them and be able to edit all of that synchronized footage in a program? Well, today we're gonna to kind of break that down and I'm gonna show you guys a cool little tool that I always use. So let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna jump into Final Cut Pro real quick and I'll meet you guys right there. Yeah! So here we are in Final Cut 7.0 or Final Cut Studio, if you will, and we are working with a bunch of footage. In fact, three separate cameras, the Canon 60D, the Canon 7D, and the HMC by Panasonic, uh, the HMC 150, as well as another device, the Zoom Mic, which is a beautiful and brilliant little device that lets us record digital audio separately, and then we can synchronize it later. Thankfully, there is a little device that we can use and it's an app called Pluralize and it allows us to basically take all of our footage, put it into a timeline and with the click of one button it will synchronize all of it into a timeline that looks more like what you're looking at now. Yeah! So we're going to go ahead and start from scratch by opening up a brand new timeline. So I've already created the Tutorial Tuesday sample timeline, double click on it, grab and open up our folders with our cameras here and I'm going to take the first clip from every camera. So here's cam one. Here's clip one from cam one. I'm just gonna drag this guy down into our timeline. Cam two, 7D, just gonna drag this guy down just as I did for the first one right on top. So now I have camera one, camera two, and then I'm gonna scroll up to my third camera folder right here. That's the first clip in it. I'll again, drag and drop right on top of camera two. Now, last but not least, I'm gonna grab the audio from the zoom, and I guess I'll just take this clip here. It's the first one, the first time we hit record on the zoom, and I'm gonna put this at the very bottom of the audio files. So as you see here now, I have my video one, two, and three, my cam one, two, and three, their audio files, and then at the very bottom, the zoom right here. All beautifully aligned in my timeline and all absolutely out of synchronization. That sucks. In other words, I can't actually edit right now because obviously everything's out of whack. Check it out. A series. Uh, oh, actually, a series. Yeah. Too much going on there, what the? All right, what we can do instead is jump into a brilliant little app called Pluralize, which is right here. Whoop. And Pluralize allows us to, with one click, choose a project inside of Final Cut or Adobe Premiere or Avid, I believe. And with one click, we can instantly synchronize our footage. So check it out. Let's go ahead and choose Ken Taylor Edit Project. That's what we're working on. Yes, he is an OBGYN. Yes, I'm glad you noticed. And yes, this is a really, really interesting interview, which you might want to check out later on. Anyway, whatever. Let's go to the sequence. The sequence is called the uh, Tutorial Tuesday sample. So we're gonna go ahead and in the sequence box here in Pluralize, I'm gonna look for, ah, there he is, Tutorial Tuesday sample. Give him a click, boom, great. Now, something that's really awesome about Pluralize that I love so much, uh, and I guess the company as a whole is just kind of clever in the sense, the sync options, there's a lot of different sync options that allows the Pluralize application to analyze your footage accordingly. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up the change option to show you guys. The first one is clips are in chronological order, so it'll search chronologically throughout the timeline. Level audio, how loud is the audio, that'll kind of make an adjustment to how it's gonna synchronize the footage. Use markers that you've set in your timeline, or my personal favorite option, try really hard. Um, I don't know what that means, and I don't think anyone really does. <laughs> um, I think in theory it's really just an algorithm that allows the application to um, that allows the application to do a multi-pass, so it analyzes itself two or three times. But try really hard in general is kind of cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with that guy as well. I've checked off those three options, chronological order, level audio, and try really hard. Very promising options. Then I hit sync, and within minutes, you'll notice that this is actually going to spit out a brand new timeline with all of my footage synchronized. Cool. It usually takes between one and five minutes depending on the amount of footage that you have. Uh, for this one, it was very, it's more of a short uh, process because we didn't put all the clips inside. But if you look in your browser, you're gonna notice that you now have a brand new sequence that's colored usually green, which tells you that Pluralize was working with it. And it actually names it, whatever you named it, Tutorial Tuesday Sample, then a number, and then 
the word synced, which means this stuff is synchronized. You're good to go, man. Go ahead and rock out, edit your stuff together, make it look good. Yeah! Now, if we look in the timeline here, the brand new timeline, we see that, yeah, the clips were actually moved. And we notice that here is the Zoom microphone from earlier, and here are all the clips that have been moved to the right accordingly. Notice how they're a little bit out of time, they're a little bit off, but that's because what happened on set, as I said, roll audio, and the audio began rolling. And then we rolled camera one, boom. Camera one began rolling, and you see it's longer than the other two. Then camera two rolled, and then camera three rolled. So it is actually in perfect chronological synchronization, and if we play this audio, you're gonna see that it actually is 100% where it needs to be. Now what I'm going to do, and here's a little tidbit for you guys, nice little tip, you're going to go ahead and uh, you're going to mute all of the other op audio options here uh, because again, this is onboard camera sound, we don't like this, these are just shit clips to us. Um, so what we're going to do instead is we're going to take the zoom and we're going to make it the only one that's not muted. And here's the cool little tip, if you hold down the option key on your keyboard and then you click on this little audible button, what will happen is it will actually turn off every single track except for the one you clicked on. Then you can just click on the second one, and therefore we now have our zoom ready to rock and all the rest have been muted instead of having to click on these guys eight different times. I hope that made sense. All right, so in essence, this is now 100% in synchronization and we can begin cutting however we want to. Now you know, Pluralize is the one application that I use and that's amazing for within seconds and within minutes even, uh, synchronizing your footage and letting you move on to the next step in the editing workflow process. Yeah! Thanks for tuning in guys, I hope you learned a thing or two. Uh, make sure to subscribe not to miss the next episode where we talk about multicam editing and how to do that. It's gonna build on to what we learned today as well as move forward in the multicam process. So feel free to subscribe, comment below if you have any other questions and if you have any sort of topics you want to hear about, please let me know. Uh, also follow me at Acosta on Twitter and I will talk to you guys soon. All right.